I'm turning into Chucky today, so I kind of already started with some areas, um, just so <laughs> my boobs weren't showing on stream. <laughs> so I kind of mapped out what I was going to do, like, the colors, like, in the exact order I was going to do them in, and then I just screwed up, so it's supposed to be whatever is above that line <laughs> is the color of which it will be, as you can see that I'm doing on the upper half, and then in the lower half, I didn't go to the line. <laughs> I went below the line and then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> so I started going back through and I'm like, something isn't right here. And I noticed it. You'll notice here in just a second when I was about to add in that color on the bottom on the right hand side, I was like, wait, wait, this isn't right. It takes me a moment. It takes me a solid good moment. I think when I was going into the red, I was like, wait. Yep, right there. I'm now, I'm like, wait a minute. I have screwed this up. Where have I screwed this up? Screw it, I'm just gonna go to the top area and then I'll come back to the bottom. I don't know why I did that. I mapped it out so I wouldn't have problems. And I still had problems. Anyways. So I'm basically using like um, a coral color, a white, a light blue, a green, a kind of a darker blue, red, and then like a true a true blue for the for the overalls to create this Chucky. So I was trying to go with um, a mixture of kind of Chucky like in the first movie. He doesn't have like the patches or whatever on his actual overalls. If I remember correctly, he gets those later. I've never actually seen the movies, mind you. I just, I just know from images when his overalls are all like torn up. That's when he has like patches on the overalls. But when he doesn't have those, the pat, the overalls together. But I wanted it to be torn apart because I liked that look. So I kind of did a mixture of the two. When I did this, and you saw my little knife that I use for pictures. It's made out of tin foil. It's not real. <laughs> But this blue that I'm using right now is Neptune by Made You Look. Um, the white is Yeti from Made You Look. And then the rest are um, Mayron Paradise paints from the Tropical palette. So those are the, the two palettes mainly that I was using. Except for the blues. Those are individual ones I have. Those are also from Mayron though. The, the lighter ones from the shirt. And then I'm just using some red to make my buttons. And then I'm going to go in and do my sleeves. So I did those at a different um, pattern or like a little off from the sleeves. Because whenever manufacturers make shirts, the pattern doesn't 100% line up from like sleeves to the shirt. So it's slightly off, which is what I'm trying to Im imitate, emulate the word that I'm thinking right here. But... Because uh, I have to put paints near my arm armpits and I don't want to transfer to the other side. I did one arm at a time. Just kind of following the guideline that I made here. And then on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see another Chucky. That is a Chucky that I did back in 2019. So my goal was that I would um, do it again. I'm doing most of my 2019 looks again to see just how much improvement I've made over the years since that was when I first really started doing body painting so I just kind of wanted to like revisit Halloween of old <laughs> um so yeah you'll see that I'm just kind of going through and doing my sleeves I if I was to do this again I would um go further in on the arms but also so it lasted longer but that's digress i still really love how this look turned out i thought it turned out great i definitely missed a detail you'll notice between the pictures um from the thumbnail to here i forgot a detail i went back and fixed it before i took pictures and that was the white highlights actually on the shirt but you're not gonna see that in the video so i just want to make that note but i was everything else is painted down here and seen um, so I'm just doing sketching out as close as I, I can to what Chucky's scars are. 
it's definitely way more than I did way back when. If I was going to do this over again, I would um, actually have put on the wig first, then painted this part, purely because it will get messed up here, and you'll notice it way later when I'm doing highlights and shadows around the scars. I would also, if I was redoing it again, there's a part where I put white around the um, actual scars. I would not do that. I would just do the shadows like slightly off. And you'll notice I put the camera up, but that's just because I'm doing way too close to the boob. And I pull down my tube top and that's not getting shown. I'll never show that. So that's what's going on here. But I'm just painting now, good guys. Just making that red more stand out as compared to it was before. So yeah, I can't really give much details other than I'm using red paint and writing good guys. And then I was outlining it in black. And then I'm just going to go through with my NYX Epic Ink Liner in black and just outline just everything. Because this one's got going to have a lot of outlines on it. A little bit more cartoony in a way in that regards, but not like cartoony per se. I'm just starting on some mascara and liner so the black just goes all the way to my eye. I could be using splatter blood at some point. It's from Mayron Makeup. But before I get to that point where I do the shadows, just tons and tons of shadows. So I'm using a black um, shadow from NYX Cosmetics and several different palettes of theirs. I kept running out so I had to keep grabbing from different ones. I need to go rebuy one at some point and get a new black. And then I'm just taking a darker color of each of the stripes. So like this is a dark red, I'll use a dark blue, dark green, lighter blue, but darker blue. In a way in that light blue section. Just to create like the cable knit type aspect of his actual sweater. <laughs> As I said, if I was gonna do it, I'd go further down my arms. If I was gonna do this look again. But because it's not going to show up in the pictures, I wasn't worried about that. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and I'm using gray in the white section. Just to make that cable knit kind of stand out here. So as I said, if um, I had remembered it on stream, because I did these on Twitch. I'm doing them every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for the month of October. If I was... What I forgot to do, like, on the stream was I, there's actually a highlight on this of white on the top and bottom of each section of the stripes. And you'll see it in the actual, like, thumbnails, I said. And over on my Instagram. So check out my Instagram if you want to see the full pictures. But you can kind of see it um, in my, the picture on the right, that highlight. I forgot to do that <laughs> in, during the stream. I did go back and do it, but that's what creates that whole like cable knit look with these vertical lines. And then I'm also going to be adding a lot of black, just so much black, but just quickly mapping up my pockets, giving the lines of where the buttons kind of go. And then I'm, what am I doing next? Adding some black shadow in on my eye just to kind of blend and then I'm going in and adding all of the shadows around the overalls which is basically just following every single line and making it kind of blurry with the black shadow nothing too crazy here but definitely makes it look a little bit more realistic in a way and just gives it more depth which is what I was going for and muddies it up. And then I'm just going around the edges on the actual overall piece and giving some shadows there. Going on my sleeves, doing the same thing. My sleeves, like I was wearing sleeves. <laughs> Where the sleeve area is, I should say. And then in between each of the stripes, I'm adding in the black line. At one point I was gonna do just red, but I ended up changing it to just pure black, just cause it looked, I thought it looked a little bit better. Um, so yeah, just going through each of those lines. And separating them out. Because it's got to, we kind of have like a little bit of depth between the two. And then there's going to be the white line, which you're not going to see in the, vid in the video because I forgot it. <laughs> I apologize. 
I don't know. I like went and took like about to take pictures and I was like, wait, something is missing. What is missing? And I stared at it for a good like solid minute and I was like, oh, I forgot the white line. But I like how this turned out. And I remembered by the time I took pictures. I remembered. Um, now you'll see me going through with a light blue liner and just adding some dashes through the overalls and then taking an actual white and adding the thread lines and that's just to give the um, overalls some dimension and then kind of where everything's being like or sewn together and then going on the buttons and adding highlights on those and then, what did I do next? After the highlights, I went... Oh, and did next, we're doing our stitching. So I'm just taking black liner again, and then putting some black dots where it comes out of the shirt, just to put, put some depth in there. Then taking the white liquid liner again, and then adding in the frayed texture on the overalls. And then we're putting a string to put those together and then just more black dots where those come in and out and then underneath the um lines for the stitches just giving it some shadows to just kind of make it stand out a little bit more from my chest and then i was double checking um a detail on how his eyes look like as far as like if he had like actual like bruise or if it was just very natural and i'm going with this slightly pinky look on the lids so that way um, it's got a little bit more depth, which is kind of how it looks like on the actual Tucky doll. And then just gave myself a quick little bit of contour. And then I used a freckle brush to do my, like the dash kind of eyebrows, but I'm gonna have to go back over it because it's kind of, it disappears very quickly. And then I just put a little bit of shadow, the same one I used on my, on my, um, lids onto my lips just so they kind of stand out more and this is what i mentioned where i said I, if i was to do this over again i wouldn't actually do this piece which is the white liner on the face i would just do the shadows which is just like a pale grayish pink a mauve a mauve tone so you see this color i'm using here i would just put this down where i'm currently putting it down like on the other side of the white i just would not have the white i don't i don't find that it's a problem or like it's an issue or looks bad i just think it would look slightly better if i didn't have that and here's where i mentioned where if i was to do it over again i'd put the wig on first because on uh, near the forehead though the body paint kind of smeared <laughs> and i cleaned it up with a makeup wipe but if i was to do it again again put, always put your wig on first if you're gonna do something near the hairline put your wig on first don't don't do what I do. I do this like every time, and every time I'm like I shouldn't have done that, <laughs> cause it always smears. Uh, but then after I have the cleanup done, we're going in and putting in our stitches for our face. I'm trying to follow as close as what Chucky has, just using the black liner, and then taking a purpley, dark purple black tone to do the indents from where the um, stitches kind of go into my face just to give it that more depth and dimension and then i'm going to go just like i did on the shirt and on some of those put an under shadow of away from the thing so it kind of stands out a little bit more from my actual face and yeah that's pretty much it I'm trying to think of if there was anything else besides adding in like the the blood so just doing like a brown speckle so it's a little, little bit like dirt and then i'm taking the actual blood splatter from mayron and i first put it like using a brush to put it into like the wounds so they look a little bit more juicy <laughs> and then i was spraying it on me <laughs> on the shirt and everywhere i had a little bit too much fun and uh, got a little bit excited <laughs> over the blood. it's just it's halloween and i like using it but yeah, that's pretty much everything I did to create this Chucky doll body paint. I'm just adding a little bit of mascara real quick on my lashes. And I said I was fixing up the 
eyebrows but yeah that is the final look i hope you all enjoyed it i have more looks coming up for october and i hope you all have a great morning afternoon night wherever you are in the world have a good time zone and i'll see y'all later bye